Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the American Friends of Rabin Medical Center's annual gala. Now, please give a warm welcome to a good friend of AFRMC, our MC for the evening, Magali Laguerre Wilkinson. Good evening, everyone. I am thrilled to be back in person. I feel like screaming. It's so exciting to be in this room with everyone. Everybody looks beautiful. Woo! Come on. Let's get going. Yes. It has been a long and difficult a few years. It's my fourth year as Master of Ceremonies here, and much has changed in the past 18 months. This evening is really moving along. I'm thrilled to take a few moments and chat with my dear friend, Scott Reckler, in a little fireside chat, Scott. A conversation about bouncing back. New York is feeling like it's coming back. We're seeing people out in restaurants, and then tonight we really have the proof of it. I mean, look at this room. This is proof that, that we're back. So why do you think that is? Take it away. Yeah, I, th I think um, New York, like Israel, right, once again has proven how resilient we are as a community, right? There's been many times in our history where we've been knocked down and people have written our obituaries and we have found ways to come back. We're inviting people back to have a great relationship with the city, a great experience with the city, and then make our streets and our subway systems and our transit system feel safe, flood it with police, address our homelessness crisis, address the, the cleanliness of the streets. Yep. And it, you have to spend money in the short term, but it's a great investment no. for the long term. Look. So if you have a chance, pass on that message tonight. We will. Amen. So I guess we're done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> New York City's your turf. You've said that, you know, we're not returning to a world that existed pre-COVID. So to use your terms, how do, how do we recalibrate and recover in a post-COVID world. And, and ironically, today is the day that the borders have opened up internationally. So there's a lot to celebrate. Is that a start? Yeah, that is a, definitely a start, getting our city reopened for tourism. But you know, I think it's about leaning into our strengths, right? I mean, one of the things that makes New York so great is we're this great magnet for talent. People from around the world, the best and the brightest, want to come live here, work here, visit here. And so we have to do whatever we can to encourage that. But, but seriously, though, we're here tonight. We're also in a celebratory mood, right? Um, we're celebrating this hospital that's done so much, that's achieved so much. And clearly, Israel has been an example in this battle against COVID-19. In the midst of a war as well, what, you know, as, if, as if that wasn't enough to throw you know, a curveball in it. But are there lessons that we can learn um, from that part of the world and how, and how we fix things here? You know, as a New Yorker, I've always thought of Israel as our sixth borough. And so there's lots sixth of lessons, borough. the sixth oh, yeah. borough. Yeah. There's a lot that we can learn and have learned from Israel in the past. And I think, you know, the, the, the theme of resiliency and innovation, whenever they have challenges of the past, the history, they learn from that to build a better future. I think that's a lesson New York should learn is let's take these, the, the challenges that we just faced and let's reimagine uh, a better New York. So as we as we wrap up our little chat and you know move on to dinner, I just want to ask for one last thing, which is, of all of us here tonight, every citizen in this room, what message do you have to us, and how can we each and every one of us, how can we make a difference in some way? I, you know, I think the message I would just say is we should take ownership and responsibility for building stronger communities. This is our city. Use every moment we can to try to think long-term about some of the inequities that exist in the city and how do we structurally change it for the better for the long-term. Scott, thank you so very much. No, thank you. This was Always a great a chat. Thank you all. Thank we you continue. all for coming. Thank you. Everybody, enjoy your dinner.